My name is Allison B, and I work in the Department of Biological Sciences. Please enjoy each answer equally. Our memories are constructed not only by one particular smell or one particular sound, but by all the things that got us there. The location that we're at can be a potent trigger for a given memory. And it's these sensory experiences in the order that they happen that may be really important to triggering memory. Mark S. lives a totally different life inside and outside work. I don't think it's a stretch at all to say not only that your life would be separated, but your memories might be totally separated. We have state-dependent, selective, spatial memory for one place and not for another. When I walk in the door to my office, all the things that I might have been trying to sort out before I get there kind of fall away and they've really encapsulated that into this elevator ride. I think that's a vehicle for them to indicate that transition point. And it's interesting for us to think about what's our transition point. One of the really interesting sort of character development aspects of the series is that even though these people have consented to having this separation, you can't extract their desire, their natural curiosity, and their natural critique of the situation that they're in. This is really a fundamental part of what it is to be human. The innies are curious. They understand that there must be something happening outside and they're curious about what it is. And quenching that curiosity is a really difficult thing.